I'm Shannon, a storyteller at GoDaddy who loves celebrating people who are making their own way and pursuing independent achievement. This is School of Hustle, the show where we talk with New York's top entrepreneurs and hustlers to learn and understand and get inspiration from what they're doing. Today, I am so excited to have a very special guest. She is one of New York's most seven influential women, fashion illustrator and co-founder of Chic Sketch, Emily Brickell Edelson. It's so nice to have you. Thank you. Please tell me about this beautiful pillow that you brought on today. Wow. We, we are obviously obsessed with the pillow landscape and it fits right in. Let's take a look. Yes, so this is our pillow. I am so obsessed with it. I drew this. This is actually from one of the editors of New Beauty magazine. So she's my friend, I did her, and I just think it's just so adorable and chic. So, okay, wait a minute. You have a friend who's an editor who is now on a pillow that you drew. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I have to re, I wanna unpack this. Okay. Let's get into what Chic Sketch is really all about because this is really cool. And I kinda wanna see like myself or a friend on a pillow, that's yeah. amazing. So, so talk to me about how this works. So. You can be a pillow, anybody can be a pillow, really. What it is is we will sketch you and put you can put it yourself on merchandise. So it's just so fun and just best, you know, best gift for a friend or whatever you guys want. But it's fun, it's all about a real fashion illustrator and that's really what okay. she sketches about. Do you have any technology that you've developed? I, I feel like you have an awesome app. Yes. So we have an app, it's Chic Sketch app. You basically just send your photo and we'll sketch you. It's all by real fashion illustrators. So it's myself and my team of artists. And before that, like only Kim Kardashian can get her sketch by a fashion illustrator. And now everybody can. It's like, we just kind of made it for the masses. I just felt like it was really something that people wanted out there. Yeah. And then what better thing to kind of elevate it and put it on products. So I'm still a fashion illustrator. It's my passion, it's my favorite thing. And what we kind of did, so it's myself and my husband who are the co-founder of okay. Chic Sketch. He is an app developer. I am a tech lover, fashion enthusiast. We really married fashion and technology together. And it kind of just became something like bigger than us and something that we can really scale, that we're working on scaling, that we can you know, go to a ton of events. So we do live events. We work with hundreds of brands. Yeah. We go to, we sketch up parties. We sketch guests live. We also can just, you can just submit your photo to the app. It's, you know, there's so much fun tech things we've done. You could put your logo on it. You can share it on social media. It goes viral. It's just, just really fun. And I think fashion can sometimes be like stressful and like, oh my God, yeah. Devil Wears Prada. But we want to bring fun back to it because we love fashion, right? So, and, yeah. and all these yeah. girls do. So I think it's just something that really is like your authentic self on in your sketch. And that's what we do best, we translate you. What we do is we make everyone look chic. Yeah. So it's not like a caricature on the street where you're yeah. like, oh my God, my forehead, my nose. <laughs> like, what, is, what are they drawing, okay? No, we're making you into a fashion sketch and we're yeah. making people happy. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, if you had a bad day and you're bloated and you don't like your outfit or your hair got rained on, but you got a chic sketch, and you're like, this fashion illustrator sees this in me. It's a real boost of confidence. And that's really what our business is about. Like, essentially, we want that. We want to just make people happier. I, I absolutely love that. I, I have to ask you, have you ever had somebody not like a sketch? I mean, so that's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that? How do you deal with that feedback when they're in your face? Right. You know, this isn't customer service. Someone sends an email. Right, right. Like, they're right there. Right. I mean, like, at, a, at parties and events, like, sometimes we have had that. Most of the time, people really love it. Yeah. And generally, if you're, if you're not an artist and you're watching someone sketch it, even, like, I mean, for me, like, I'm always like, oh, this isn't good enough. I'm, you know, I'm judging myself when I'm doing it. There's yeah. so much pressure. But then I, yeah. but then I see that the person is not an artist and whatever I'm doing, they're wowed by because they can't draw maybe. Or if they are an artist, that's when I get the most comments. They're like, well, I'm an artist. My eye's a little crooked and I'm like, oops. Okay, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so now I feel extra pressure, but I mean, it's easy to fix it. Like we can yeah. just fix it. I want people yeah. to be happy, you know? And it's interesting to see people's perspectives of themselves because sometimes like they don't really know what they look like and they look exactly like that, but they're like, 
I look nothing like that. And it's funny to see people's own yeah. reality perspective of themselves. That's so interesting. Yeah. Really, you're innovating and you're doing customer service and you're doing art, you're doing so many things. And you mentioned earlier that you work with your husband. Yes. So I want to quickly go back to that because you, you go to work together, but you live together. Mm -hmm. And how do you make that work? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, fortunately, we are like glued to each other's hip and we don't get bored of each other. So I think that's really important. Like we, we miss each other if we're gone during a meeting. And I know, I know, it's kind of cheesy. And, and I'm getting an idea for a new show about <laughs> relationship advice. It's yeah. Good, I, I, I love it. So you have the right partner. Yes. You have the partner and friend in life that you have transferred to business. We're best friends. We can. I love it. We really like, there's a lot of strengths that he has, yeah. but I don't. And a lot of strengths that I have that he doesn't and things that he does that I really don't want to do and vice versa. Yeah. So we work really well together. I mean, we always bounce off advice over each other and some things like the creative, I'll be like, no, like, I don't care what you say. Like, this is my call. I get to make the final decision. But when it comes to other things, like, I'll be like, okay, you know, that's your area, the tech part. Like, yeah. you can, you know, you can definitely handle that. And I give, we, we kind of play off each other really well. And we're married in real life and in business. And, so. and it sounds like that spirit actually applies to you even if you're not married. You don't have to go into business with yeah. your best friend or your husband, wife, partner. But that idea where finding folks who have something that you don't. Right. Listening, finding that. Exactly. Always surround yourself with people smarter than you are and that's true because you know there's always something that people can do better than you and I think you should stick with your strengths like for me it's the fashion illustration it's the creative direction it's the art it's the fashion like that part of it but hiring someone to do our accounting or hiring someone to do our scheduling or you know handle some things that we need help with you have to do that to really grow your business and you have to be self-aware to yeah. know what you don't know. Yeah. For someone who knows what they don't know, that's hard to do. Yeah. And it sounds like you know what you don't know. You have to. You kind of have to get, I think also as an entrepreneur, you have to really get to know yourself and know your strengths and your weaknesses. Exactly. There's a lot of self-reflection and awareness yeah. when you're embarking on your own business, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you think back, you know, what was a piece of advice that you got along the way? So it was definitely, uh, my mentor is Gabrielle Bernstein. I don't know if you guys know who that is. She's like a spiritual guru, Carrie Bradshaw and Heels. Um, but something she said to me was to be your own guru. And I huh. think that's so important because there are so many people who will offer advice, but you really need to kind of like sit, I meditate, I take a bath, I take a walk, and I think like your intuition really is what's gonna tell you what's best for you. So that's my favorite, my favorite piece of advice. I like that advice. Do we take enough time to just reflect yeah. and pause? Because also like you have the answer if you stop and think about it. You'll know the answer. Yeah, and whenever you get heated and get flustered, the best decisions are not made. Right, no. You need to... <sighs> yes, great. We'll do this together. <laughs> Uh, on the flip side, I have to ask yes. you, what is the worst piece of advice? Okay, well the worst piece of advice is millions of people telling me you can't do this. Really? Yeah, no, I've had, I don't, wow. I mean, so many people saying you can't do this. I remember people saying, well, you're an executive assistant, that's all you could be, or don't start a business, your head's gonna get too big, don't um, do this, don't do that, don't, you know, or you're not gonna make it, you're gonna fail. And I think like I use all that as because there's always going to be these naysayers and the thing is if they're not doing what you want to be doing don't take their advice That's it. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic to see your company your business grow as much as it has and innovate as much as it has how do you stay on top of the trends so I, well, first of all, I, my favorite thing is to go to the fashion shows. I look on Vogue.com. I, I'm, you know, very in tune with what's happening in the fashion world. I was trained as a trend forecaster years ago, so I know how to like pick up on these things. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And like what's happening in society, in the world also influences yeah. trends and fashion. Yeah. So you want to be on the pulse of all of those things. Absolutely. Well, our tribe was really excited to see that you were coming Yay. today and they put out some <laughs> questions in social. 
Awesome. So Emily, of, yes. of all names, a lovely name. Yes. Emily asks, what is your favorite sketch to date? So my favorite sketch was sketching one of my all-time favorite people, Rachel Zoe. Um, I had an opportunity to sketch her when we were working with Polo Ralph Lauren in Beverly Hills. So they flew us out and hired us to sketch at their event that was co-hosted by Rachel Zoe and the Zoe Report. Um, and then they used my sketches on the hang tags in Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive in Polo Ralph Lauren. And I, I pretty much a chill. died. <laughs> I totally just got a chill. Okay, so that means something to yes, you. Yes, yeah. Would you say that is your made it moment? A hundred percent. Okay, yeah. this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I love Rachel Zoe and also always wanted to be a fashion designer. So like having my sketches on clothes for Ralph Lauren, one of the biggest names, and Rachel Zoe, who to me encompasses what it is to be like a successful female entrepreneur with multiple businesses, with a household name, with a family. She looks amazing every day. Like she rocks it and she's definitely one of my inspirations. And not to mention having your sketch on that address. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> Jamie asks, what is that one essential fashion accessory or piece for a job interview? I would say a little black dress, but I would also say research where you're interviewing and look at the culture, look at how they dress and try to put your style into something that would fit in in that culture. So, but the little black dress, you really can't go wrong. And now I want to make things really personal. <laughs> okay. And I have it. a game that we're going to play <laughs> called Hustle Time. And we are going to see what we can learn about you in 60 seconds. Okay. I'm Jonathan, game. will you please bring the cards? Okay. <laughs> so, I want you to know that this is not fixed in any way. Okay. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to shuffle, cut, do what you okay, need to do okay. with the deck to feel like this is a fair game. All right. Let's feel do good? It. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. So we're gonna set a timer for 60 seconds. You're going to get through as many questions as you possibly can. Okay. The longer you think, the less cards we'll get through. Right, right. We want to learn a lot about you. So in the okay. spirit is say what comes first to mind okay. and just go fast, okay? What's the first app you open in the morning? Instagram. New York or London? New York. Early bird or night owl? Early bird. Last person you texted? My husband, Jordan. Favorite breakfast food? Gluten-free, dairy-free, protein pancakes. <laughs> Binge watch or watch weekly? Watch weekly. Favorite Disney movie? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Finish this sentence, when I dance, I look like? A crazy person. <laughs> Football, NFL or soccer? No sports. <laughs> First place you'll visit when you retire? Uh, Greece. Top quality you look for in an employee? Trustworthy. Surf up or cocktail poolside? Cocktail poolside. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Best place you've traveled? Capri. First record you bought with your own money? Record, uh, Green Day. <laughs> New York City tourists, help with directions or keep on your way? Uh, app, using that Google directions app. <laughs> First concert you ever saw? Uh, 98 Degrees. <laughs> Who is someone that defines success to you? Um, Rachel Zoe. Favorite, New, favorite New York City tourist attraction? Empire State Building. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Wow. <laughs> this is a lot of cards. Let's see what we got. Because we, we are entrepreneurs and we are competitive. Yes. So let's see how we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How, what's your average? Okay, tell me your average. Uh, well, we have a leaderboard. Okay. And right now you are in first place. Oh, nice. And you have a little bit of a lead. So okay. that's great. This is fantastic. I love it. Um, thank you so much thank you. for being a part of this conversation. My pleasure. I, I am so excited to see what you're doing. And I actually, and I think everybody would like to see you do what you do here on the show. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I think it's really time that we do a sketch on film. We are going to bring out GoDaddy's newest employee. Okay. Who is a 10 year old pug oh. named Noodle. <laughs> He's an Instagram celebrity. Okay. He's very artistic. He can't hold a pencil, but he really appreciates art. Let's bring in Noodle. Amazing. 
amazing. They're so cute. <laughs> so, to sketch Noodle, where would we like Noodle to be positioned? Do you want me to hold him while you sketch? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I'm okay with I that. need my iPad. Come on. Baby. Baby. Thank you. I'm sketching him like a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We really enjoyed having you on today. Thank you. I, we appreciate the time and you inspiring us. Um, you know, in closing, I think that Noodle here <laughs> could use some advice. He's afraid to draw. You know, he, he can't really control the pencil, like I said. What advice do you have for somebody who wants to get started in illustrating and doesn't know where to begin? So I would say start with just the first line. I think that the hardest part is starting and getting like in your head and like stressing out. But if you just really put pen to paper or pencil to iPad and you go, you put some music on, just relax. And I think like don't judge yourself, just do it and see where it takes you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shannon Truex. Hit to subscribe and all of your entrepreneurial goals will come true. That is if your goals are to see more of Noodle and watch more episodes of School of Hustle.